It is, Evan. This is an executive memorandum signed by Governor Kevin Stitt and just filed with the Secretary of State's office this afternoon. It adds a whole lot of businesses to that list of essential businesses. Just going to read a couple to you that I jotted down. It includes hotels, hardware stores, car dealerships, golf courses, lawn care, pet supply, things like that. A whole lot of other ones on that list as well. Before that executive memorandum came out, I was talking to a florist this afternoon who said they've been having a whole lot of trouble deciding whether to stay open, whether to stay closed, what precautions to take. Oh, it's locked. A closed door, but open for business. <laughs> Capitol Hill florist in gifts. Owner Kent Whitna says it's been a struggle for weeks. Stay open or not. We feel like it's time to close and then we get more orders. People need in the need for flowers and, and wanting to send, you know, sentiments to people. It's really uh, pulling, pulling us in a lot of different directions. It's a situation a lot of businesses are in. Is my line of work essential? Well, yesterday, Governor Kevin Stitt said the closure is meant for businesses that attract large gatherings. So think bars, busy restaurants. This afternoon, Governor Kevin Stitt signed this executive memo adding many new essential businesses that will be allowed to open still told not to gather more than 10 people at a time. It's been totally stressful. Uh, it's this is our family business since 1932, so it's been very stressful. Back at the florist, it's been hard for them to say no to any orders. Most of them are for people who have had to cancel funerals and just want something to leave at a grave site. And so the big thing they've been doing there is mostly relying on deliveries or bringing things to the front door, not letting anybody inside to get back to that executive memo. We are still getting through it. It adds a lot of businesses to that list. We have posted both that additional list of businesses as well as the original list of essential businesses on our website. Of course, that's KOCO.com and the KOCO mobile app. I would encourage you to take a look at that. See if you're in that essential or non-essential category at the Capitol. Dylan Richards, KOCO. 5 News.